Hi everybody, this is Johnny. Let's make a game together. For this game we will need some paper, something to write or draw with, probably a pencil this time, a bit of scratch paper, some playing pieces, oh, and importantly, some cards. All the red cards, two through nine, and the ace, aces, both of them. And we'll also need all the black cards and the aces as well. And the aces will be worth one. And we'll also need a bear. So let's start by making our game board. Put these things away for right now. We'll only need a marker and the main piece of paper. And we're going to make a great game board today. Let's start by making three dots for a triangle. One dot here, another dot here, and another dot here. Let's make the top flat, so it's not really going to be a triangle. And join these edges together, that side, and that side. And then let's do the base all the way across. Looking good so far. Now we need to put some marks along the sides here. Let's go halfway up here and over here. And we're going to draw a line that sticks out a bit on either side. About halfway down here. Again, sticking out a bit. Up here, about halfway. A line that sticks out. And then about halfway between here and here as well. So another line that comes out and across between here and here. Again. And again. Okay. Now this is a bit of a trick, but let's see if we can make this happen. What we want to do is make these into stairs. Coming down, coming down, coming down, a little bit further out for this one, coming down, coming down, and coming down. Let's make the stairs on this side too. Coming down, stairs all the way coming down, and all the way there. I think we need some more stairs. Let's go ahead and put two marks going down in the front here. all the way to the base, one after another. Almost done with this. And to make it interesting, let's go ahead and put three little lines in every one of these boxes. I think it'll make sense in just a minute. Three lines for each one. And they don't have to be perfect. In fact, it's probably better if they're not. We want this thing to look ancient. It'll make sense in a moment. Almost there. A couple more steps here and we'll be done with this part. Almost two more after this. Looking good. Now let's go ahead and put something special on top. Today's game is about the number 500. So let's go ahead and make this the Temple of 500. And let's call it that. Our game is called Temple. of 500. A little bit more decoration here. Let's see. Need a couple of hills over here. And maybe those hills go on over here. And maybe, maybe the sun 
This is some kind of temple of the sun, too. Maybe the sun is shining really, really brightly. And maybe there's a mountain over here and another over here. A little bit of snow. And over here, there's a cloud. And another one over here. That looks good. A little bit of ground over here, maybe, and over here, too. So this is our, our game board. What a great game board we have. Now, there are going to be two players for this game. And the two players will be, let's see, what colors do we like? Oh, this blue is pretty. Let's put the blue over here. Blue is on one side, and red is on the other side. Those look great. Now, this is how the game works. Blue will be playing the black cards, trying to make the number 500 with the black cards. And red will be playing the red cards, trying to make 500 as well. Whichever player gets closest to 500 in each round moves their piece up the step. Let's try a round. This is an example. Let's say blue turns over 8, 4, and 6, and red turns over 2, 5, and 3. Now each player can organize these cards in any way to make a number close to 500. Oh, red thinks red's going to win because there's a 5, a 2, and a 3. So 523. Oh, 846 doesn't look good. But what if blue takes the cards and makes five, 400, 486? Who's closer, blue or red right now? Now if you're not sure, you want to go ahead and start working out the differences on a piece of scratch paper. So in this turn, blue wants to get close to 500. So blue takes 486 from 500 and finds out that the difference is 14. So blue is only 14 away from 500. Red has 523. And 500 looks like it's got to be the closest. But if we subtract 523, we subtract 500 from it, the difference is 23. It turns out that blue, with 486, would get to move the next step up. Use the scratch paper as you need. So let's play for real. I'm going to shuffle these cards, red's cards. And I'm shuffling blue's cards as well. And let's see how the game goes. Blue turns over a 2, a 4, and a 3. Think about what number might be made with those. And red turns over a 4, a 3, and a 9. So blue looks and says, I can make 432. 432 is just 68 away from 500. But red says, I can make 493. And 493 is only 7 away from 500. So red makes the first step. Put these cards aside. Let's play another round. Blue turns over a 4, a 1, and an 8. That's pretty good. And red turns over an 8, a 6, and an ace. What's the best number each of them can make? Blue says, I can make 481. That's only 19 away from 500. And red says, I can make 600 and 18, which is 118 away from 500. So in this turn, blue wins, takes a step up. Puts the cards away. 
blue plays six, eight, and nine, and red plays one, five, and five. Who's going to win this round? The best number blue can make is 689. It's 189 away from 500. But look at the wonderful numbers red has. Red can make 515, which is only 15 away. So red takes another step up. Another round. One for blue, a seven for blue, and a nine for blue. And for red, a two, a three, and a seven. Oh, this one's going to be interesting. Who do you think is going to win this round? Blue makes 719. That seems like a lot. That's 219 off of 500. What is red's best turn? Red could make 723, but that's 120, that's 223 away from 500. So blue will win because it's 219 off, not 223. But red might play these cards differently. Let's see what might happen. What if red plays this instead? What if red plays 372? How close is that to 500? Blue right now is 219 away from 500. But if we take 372 and subtract it from 500, we find that red is only 128 away now because of the way the cards are arranged. So red was smart to move the cards this way. The other way the cards were set was not so good. So red wins this round. Let's play another round. Blue has a five, a five, and a seven. Could be really good. And red has four, nine, and two. This one's going to be interesting. It seems that blue should win because blue has the fives, right? Who do you think is going to win this round? Well, if blue plays 557, Blue is 57 away from 500. But if red plays them just like this, 492, red is only 8 away from 500. So red would win this round, too. Red's doing pretty well. Being smart about the cards, too. Another round. Two. Six. And three, how would you play those? And for red, six, eight, and seven. What's What are the best numbers we can make? Blue is going to make 362. And red is going to make 678. Which one's better? Well, blue is only how much away from 500? 100 and 38, 138 away from 500, whereas red is 178 away from 500, so blue wins this round. Now all the cards have been played this first round. What needs to happen now is the cards get shuffled, and you play a second round. Make sure you shuffle them really well. So the player who climbs all the steps up to the very top of the temple wins the game of Temple of 500. For this game, you need some paper, some playing pieces, something to write or draw with, the cards, remember aces through nines, maybe some scratch paper, and um, a bear. Enjoy this game.